Hey Virgo, welcome to Queen Air Bender Tarot. Today we are going to do your second week of November general love reading. Now keep in mind it's a general reading, which means it cannot possibly apply to every single person that is watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you guys are doing well. So for my Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rise, and the Venus individuals, before we get started, I want to let you guys know tomorrow I will be doing a discount reading sale for the 1111 portal. So for November 11, 2024, the sale will begin at 8 a.m. and it will wrap up at midnight. All you have to do is click the Etsy link in the description box below. Once you get to my Etsy shop, look for the thumbnail with the white dandelion and the blue background. Click it. You'll see a couple of reading options and you'll select the option that says 1111 reading sale as that is the discounted sale, okay? Again, the sale begins at 8 a.m. and it will wrap up at midnight. So for Virgo, some will rise with Venus individuals. When I was meditating over you guys' energy, the song that I got was Sweetest Taboo by Sade. Now, Sade happens to be a Capricorn, so you can be dealing with a Capricorn, some will rise with Venus individual. Also, if you are single, I'm definitely, because I keep getting that over and over again when I'm meditating over the energy. If you're single, you can meet somebody in Capricorn season, which is December, January timeframe, but you might want to be careful. You might want to be careful because it seems like something Saturn related, like some type of karmic type stuff is coming back. Like you may be attracting karmic partners around that time. And I feel like that's giving a lot of y'all a heads up. If you're single, keep in mind, if you meet somebody in Capricorn season, December, January, it could be something, um, not the healthiest type of connection. Okay. It also could be the universe testing you to say, Hey, you say you want a partner. You say you want to move on into healthy relationships. Let's see. We're going to throw you a curveball and see if you're going to catch it. If they throw you a curveball, don't catch the shit. Because <laughs> this person, I feel like they're, they're definitely a taboo. It's, it's, some, it's something that's not healthy. So what I heard with this, with the song Sweetest Taboo, I heard literally that sweet tooth could turn into a cavity. In other words, like it can go bad. That's not what you want to entertain. Now, for some of you all, you could be dealing with someone right now, especially if you're dealing with someone who has strong Capricorn placements, someone rising Venus. I do feel like something about this person, even if they don't have those places, but you know, it's very heightened with that sign specifically is what I'm getting. Um, it could be that like this person is so much fun. You guys have so much chemistry, but it's not as much as you think it is. Like the chemistry is not so much love, it's more lust, a lot of passion. And it may not be that that's how you feel, but this is what the other person is feeling. Okay, because I want to go ahead and jump into it. Let's look at these cards because they resonate and echo with the messages that I'm picking up. You got the King of Pentacles, Taurus, and then you have the Emperor, Aries. Now, with these two energies at the bottom, these are very prominent figures. So somebody could be stuck in between two people. That could be the taboo here. Also, I'm going to tell you, and this is no judgment. I'm just telling you what I'm getting here for somebody. If you are the type of person like you have threesomes and things like that, again, that's your business. But if you're into stuff like that, you could realize like, mm -mm, this is causing problems. This is going to cause a problem in some situation, either because this could have been something that was meant to be casual, but then someone actually has feelings and then wants to offer something. You see how he has this pentacle in his hand and somebody could already be married or, you know, hell, both parties could be married because both of these are individuals. Oh, I just heard something about adultery. Uh-oh. Did I say devil? The um, Capricorn, then you got the devil. Somebody's already married. That's quite taboo. You know what I mean? You know, it's just giving the energy. And I said, I literally said, strong resonance with Capricorn. And then you got the damn devil. Major Arcana for Capricorn. So, yeah. Something, some, I feel like there could be parties who are already married or in long-term relationships. And there could be some behind-the-scenes stuff going on. Or, like I said, taboo. Some people feel like threesomes and inviting people into your marriage or into your bedroom is taboo as well. So, it could be something like that. Again, this won't apply to everybody. We know that. But I'm just saying, like, something is happening here. Now, even if you don't have stuff like that going on, it could be somebody wanting to introduce it into the situation. You know, something, something's happening with that. Because I kept saying Capricorn, you got the damn devil right here. And I didn't even look at that in the beginning. I didn't. So, back of the deck, yeah, this is something that may not have been presented to you yet because she doesn't see it. So, male or female, somebody hasn't, it hasn't been presented yet. And the swords are down. Sword of the just sword down is no. So, it's like somebody hasn't presented it yet. And also, somebody may be finally getting ready to see something that they didn't see in regards to a partner as well. Let's, let's get into this because it's very interesting. 
So we're going to go through the deck until we get your major arcana, which happens to be the hermit. We'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after. And then we'll get clarifiers for Virgo, Summon, Rising, and Venus individuals. Currently at the bottom of the deck, you got the three of wands. Waiting for your ships to come in. As you have that ship, so it's like relationship. And remember, that's crazy because I was just saying three so you got the three of wands. A fire sign could be involved, Leo, Sage, Aries. Again, this is not all about threesomes. I'm not trying to turn into something like that, but we we do know stuff like that happens, right? So let's, let's not bullshit. Let's be mature. Stuff like that happens. Somebody, like I said, maybe want to introduce that because you do have a ship coming towards him, like coming towards that direction. Let's see what's up under there. Queen of Pentacles. Somebody's married. <laughs> you have the King of Pentacles. You have the Queen of Pentacles. And then on the other, you know, you had also the Emperor in this deck. That's fire. That's fire. So it could be and the Emperor is Aries. Aries is March, April. Three is March. So somebody could be involved with a March um, Aries or something happened in March Aries in Aries season in March. Also, it doesn't have to be a threesome. Like I said, it could be third party. Like literally a third party. Like somebody has feelings for two people. And they don't know how to move forward with that situation. So let's see. You got the Ten of Cups. Working together, established. So wow. Right behind us, you got the Empress. You got the Emperor. And now you got the Empress. So there's your energy. Okay, I don't even have to go through it. Look, there's your energy. Okay, we're done. Um, yeah, because I was going to shuffle, but I'm, I'm the way that this is coming out is like I know I'm meant to take it. So you got the Empress. That's just confirmation. Somebody's done. Yep, it's meant for me to take it, y'all. Check this out. Somebody's married, somebody's already in a relationship. But remember, I was talking about that three. So you had the three of wands, and then you got the empress, and she's none other than three. Yeah, it's not even meant for me to shuffle and shit. It's, it is what it is. Somebody can be finding out that their partner is a snake. Okay. Like I said, if it's not actual threesome energy, like there's a third party for somebody. I, this is so weird because I also just heard that somebody may like the the excitement of possibly being caught like this is very interesting so there's your energy and right behind this you have the two of wands needing to choose a destination or a direction to go in again so there's definitely a fire sign of all here for somebody leo sage aries or something can come out in the future during fire sign season which is sage which is november december time frame and then you get the nine of wands wounded warrior somebody's gonna be hurt about this okay let's let's get into these cards then I say something may come out in fire sign season because you got wands, and I say a sage and you got sage. That's how I knew it was meant for me to stop and not and not continue to shuffle. I'm glad I listened to what I was hearing because yeah, I feel like this is so simple. The way this is gonna play out, it's gonna be very blunt, very direct. All the facts are gonna be out on the table. It's not gonna be. It's not gonna be any way for anything to be hidden here. Temperance again, sage energy. You're gonna watch how things playing out. Things are already getting ready to play out behind the scenes. It's part of the deck. The world card. Travel distance for a movement. Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, and Scorpio. So there's going to be... You got two major icons here. There's some type of transformation that's getting ready to happen. It's going to happen soon. It's going to be shake up in somebody's world. Change in somebody's world. Again, just like what I heard earlier, the whole narrative of the sweet tooth may cause a cavity. You know? It's, I'm hearing like the decay of a relationship. Because a cavity is decay, right? There's going to be some type of decay because somebody like to entertain sexually you know somebody could lose their partner five of cups said it's all grief depression and it's tip the five of cups typically we call like the crying over spilled milk mm, it's like the milk that was spilled was somebody's fault because they their actions were intentional they knew what the hell they was doing but they didn't think they would get caught you know and, and i did get air energy gemini Libra, aquarius caress and they Six of Cups. See, I'm going to say this again. There's something with a third party. You got one, two, three people here. Even though he's walking off the scene, he's still in the picture. And it's right by home. I'm telling you, for a lot of you all, there's an ending of a relationship where um, somebody's going to get exposed. Somebody possibly already got exposed since Scorpio season, which we're in right now. So I don't mean for this to be a heavy or negative reading, but you guys are seeing what I'm seeing here. I'm hearing for every mountain, the gospel song for every mountain. I'm just looking at the mountains in the background. So somebody may be still trying to save their relationship or their marriage, regardless of what has taken place. If you think about mountains, metaphorically speaking, mountains talk about hurdles and challenges that you have to get over. So someone is like, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna fight for my marriage. This is just a hurdle, this is a challenge. Someone out there, not everyone. Let's get a clarify for the Empress. The Empress is also Libra and Taurus energy. So those may resonate, yeah. 
And then you got the Ace of Cups in reverse. Yeah, somebody is leaving a situation. Like, oh, right, this is an offer. Someone's dumping this situation. Like, this is done. Someone's first middle last initial could be M, W, T, J, P, A, or S. First middle last initial. Also, something can come out because it's like the tea being spilled, okay? Like, somebody give you the tea. The tea is being spilled. Like, it's all coming out. On a Monday, Wednesday, Tuesday, or a Thursday, this could definitely be involved with a water sign. Doesn't have to be. Mm-hmm. Five of Wands, conflicts, arguments, disagreements. I feel like somebody's like, it ain't even nothing to fight about. You know, I'm going to go my way and you go yours. Something's coming out or something already came out. For some of y'all, the tea, like I said, already spilled since Scorpio season. Let's get a clarify for Two of Wands. You got the Six of Wands, Success, Attainment, Achievement, Victory, Leo. We dealing with Leo. Could be a Leo whose birthday it has a six or a two in it. So the second, the 12th, the 20th through the 29th. The 6th, the 16th, or the 26th. That's going to clarify for the Two of Wands. Universal energies of light, love, and divine protection. Let me clarify for the Two of Wands for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, individuals. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, individuals. Oh, flew on the floor and it flew face down. I'm not taking that. It literally flew face down. So, whatever it was, it's like something going to hit the fan. Something going to hit the fan or something going to hit the ground and it's going to take off. So I'm going to hit the ground, take off running with a situation. There can be accusations. Something with two. There's two people involved that shouldn't be involved somehow, okay? The very top card is the Queen of Cups in reverse. Hmm. So like I said, somebody could do, ooh, water, water, water. Yeah, so you have Queen of Cups in reverse. Kings and Queens in reverse have been stripped of their throne, stripped of their power, made to feel small. Um, and a right she has control over that cup, and the cup even has a lid on it in reverse, it's the opposite. So, someone oh, someone couldn't keep a lid on it. Okay, here's the thing you could either be dealing with a water sign, something could have wrapped up in Scorpio season, or before Scorpio season wraps up, or there's a water sign that may be dropping diamond snitching. Somebody, some it's something's coming out, and it's going to change the direction, or it's going to alter the direction of a current relationship. And also, remember in the beginning, we had, what was it, the King of Pentacles and then the Emperor. So you had a King and an Emperor, and then now you have a High Priestess and a Queen. So this is, I, it's almost for somebody, I'm getting like two married couples cheating. And I know this sounds so scandalous and salacious, but I'm just telling you, in one scenario, I'm getting like two people who are married, who's, couple, who's cheating with someone else who's married. And then, you know, even if there's no marriage, there's like couples cheating, it, it's, it's a lot going on here. And then also, like I said, there's somebody who wants to introduce a third party, but they person is not going. Like, um, no, I'm not opening myself up to that. I, I, I'm not feeling that. If you feel like you need that, you feel like you desire something outside of us, I'm out. You know, I'm getting that also. Okay. So, Virgo, someone will rise in the Venus individuals. As always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, subscribe. Don't forget the discount reading sale begins at 8 a.m. and ends at midnight tomorrow, November. Um, why am I supposed to say November 4th? What happened on 11 4th for y'all? Think about that thing and see if that resonates for you all. I don't know. So, again, it begins tomorrow at 8 a.m. until midnight on 11 11, November 11th. Okay? Until next time, take care and be well. Bye.